penny for your thoughts. What thoughts now are you dwelling on? It's nothing, Brother Nan. It's just that the more I think of it, the more I want to join. You turn your dream into reality. It's no longer a fantasy. We have finally become a soldier and somehow that thought disturbs me. It is neither money gain nor power I am gaining by having joined. I am only doing my duty. So, why does who I am disturbing you? You are not an inspiration to me. I remember the times where we are small, we hide in the bushes and play war games. But little did I know, joining the military was your ambition. Now, you make a difference that I wish to follow your footsteps. There are reasons why I became a soldier. Back then, before I was one, we heard of many criticisms. The Malays have no potential and will never be as great as the British. But it saddened me most when the villagers began calling us the dogs of the British and traitors of the race. Did they even know the purpose why we joined in the first place? All this while, we allowed somebody to colonize our land. We allowed them to defend it without knowing their true intention. But this is my home, and so as many of us are here. Why should we allow others to protect our freedom when we should be the ones doing so? Because this is our land. How could we allow a foreign to protect our family and homeland? Only we can shape our freedom, nobody else. Let alone the British who have no history of origin here. Joining them does not mean serving them, but attaining their knowledge for greater good. Therefore, I am truly glad to hear of you wishing to become a soldier as well. But remember, you need zeal and determination in your heart if you truly wish to be a true soldier. Brother Nan, I give you my word. I will be a true soldier who shall protect my country. Adnan, there is something I would like to discuss about. What is it, Father? Recently, your mother and I thought about you. We realized that our elder son has now grown to be a very fine young man. A man who has made his parents truly proud of him. There is nothing in me, save what I am blessed moreover with having great parents. Son, perhaps you too must realize your age is far from birth. It is the time you should now think of marriage and settle down. <laughs> I barely have the time to think of that, father. Who wishes someone as busy as me? Ever since I'm positioned at Singapore, more important tasks have to be taken care of all the time. Precisely. It is why your mother and I have decided to arrange a marriage between you and the daughter of Akemuda, Sophia. Everything will take place in two weeks' time. What? Pardon me, father. But why did you and mother not discuss me beforehand? Now, everything seems as though in a rush. Then, you do not approve our decision? It is not that, father. Therefore, I take it you approve. Assalamualaikum. I'm glad to see you. Waalaikum salam. I'm glad to see you too. Hey, Adnan. Congratulations. You're no longer a bachelor. Congratulations, Nicholas. All the best for the future. Thank you, sir. Hey, apa diri kat situ? Cuba lah makan. Terima kasih, terima kasih. Why do you have to worry? We have the British to fight for us. Do you see who just passed by? Uh, notice that high ranking officer? Ayah, you must not think like that, law. 
What do you think British have time for us? You also human too. You also have family also. Quite true, Asim. The British informed that the Japanese would never reach Malaya. And if they do, they would be mopped up. But what happened now? The Japanese are already on their way to Singapore. We must learn not to rely too much on the British after they fail to keep their words. But in the meantime, I want to eat my prata. Adran, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum Salam, Abbas. How are you? Fine. I'm just worried about the situation at home. Why do you think the Japanese invaded Malaya as well? Probably they are after raw materials. Our home must have been a perfect target for the enemies to collect natural resources, especially the rubber trees. Let us hope the army is assigned there to ward them off before we are coldly visited by the Japanese. But personally, I feel Malaya is safer than here. My instinct tells me Singapore will soon become a bloody battlefield. My wife, my sons, Welcome, Lieutenant Adnan, Lieutenant Abbas. We are about to start the meeting. Shall we proceed, then? Sure, sir. Very well. As we should have known by now, we're in the middle of a world war and we are left but to face the inevitable. The Japanese have successfully crossed Malaya and within few days, they have invaded Kelantan, Teranganu and Pulau Pinang. Operation Marado has failed to intercept their advances. Assuming they are heading downwards to, for Singapore, who has been assigned to Johor Bahru? The 45th Indian Brigade has been allocated to defend the river's south bank. Should the strategy fail, the causeway between Singapore and Johor will be destroyed. But that would only delay the enemy's invasion. They will somehow find a way to get here eventually. Lieutenant General Percival has given Major General Bennett two brigades of the Australian 8th Division to defend the western side of Singapore. We may need reinforcement. But how is that possible when many of the British army are sent back to defend Britain? I understand the critical situation. Should Malaya fall into the enemy's hand, then our mission will most likely be defending Pasir Panjang. However, until further orders are given, we are to remain alert and be prepared for the upcoming battles. Stand at ease. Sit down and attention.